Hey freaky people, it's super freaky one of you, and I'm going to do part two of uh, my handbags. Um, I just got everything out, this part isn't nearly as exciting as the first part, but there's some cute things in here. Um, I'm going to start off with this. This is a, a huge hobo bag that I've had, ooh I just kicked my purses in the big pile on the floor. I love this bag, do you see the shine? Yeah, see those sparkles? But they're not the kind of sparkles that actually come off on anything. They're actually, it's thread that's that's in the purse. I I love sparkle stuff, like shirts with glitter and stuff on it. But I hate that they come off. So this one doesn't come off. But uh, it's just, you know, I just really like it with the browns and the blacks. And I love that it's a hobo bag and you can fit a ton in here. This is what I used as a diaper bag <laughs> when Alex got old enough that he didn't need a ton of crap. Just needed like, you know, a couple of couple of pull-ups and stuff. So that's how long I've had that bag. Uh, the next bag is uh, a relic bag. Um and this one, it, it's like insane how many compartments this thing has. It's got like zippers and compartments here and compartments here. I mean, it's everywhere. And then it's also got one in the back here. And it smells really good, like leather. And then it has the adjustable, the adjustable uh, strap on it. And then it's got the little thing right here. It's a plain purse, but... Um, I use it sometimes. Um, this next one is one of my little fancy purses. And it's got like a liquid silver sort of chain on it. And it's just like a pewter silver little handbag. I really like it. It's, uh, when I don't want to carry a clutch, I'll bring this one if I want something with a handle. A lot of these that are coming up are like the little fancy bags. Then there's this one. This has a strap, but I like never use it. It's just a little beaded bag that's in a little plaid pattern. So yeah, I answered that tag yesterday. It said plaid or stripes. Definitely plaid. Um, then I have this one here. This is a vintage bag. It belonged to my husband's grandmother. And uh, she gave it to me. It's got really pretty coated rhinestones so that they uh, glow sort of pinky and green and stuff. And then it's got like, it's really cool. It's got like the satin interior. And it says like exclusive Faye Mel Designs in Miami. It even has like the original mirror in it. She, like, kept everything perfect, like, all these years. So, I really like vintage uh, bags. Not so much, you know, purses, but, like, little handbags. Um, then there's this one. I got this one at a garage sale uh, for $3. Vintage beaded bag. And it's... See it there? And then the back is like that. Is incredibly delicate and beautiful and this one's bags by Debbie and it's got the same thing that's like lined with satin I mean they really don't make bags like this anymore they're that are just the attention to detail is like incredible in old bags um, next thing I got is this little bag here I love this little bag um, my mom got this for me from Jamaica, I think, or somewhere. She went, you can use it with the, the strap or without it. It's got, like, all the hanging beads. And I really love, like, the sort of Asian pattern and stuff to it. And I really love the colors. Um, yeah, we're back to handbags now. Okay, got another coach bag. This one I've had since college. Yeah. 
So it's just a plain, I mean, this is like how they all started out. Just This was like the bag, you know, little square coach with like the little thing. I need to have it waxed and, and preserved a little bit more right now. So just a plain, plain one, black one. Uh, for a long time, I couldn't wear it because it was long straps, and long straps haven't been in, but now they are again, so I can wear it. Then there's this one here. I have never used this one. It is a Liz Claiborne. Um, this was one of the ones I picked up at the Goodwill because it was cheap as all get out. And it has also, it was new with tags, and it had never been used. Um, and... I got it all smushy now, but it's okay. It just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Some things I buy and then I realize, I even if they were cheap, I probably shouldn't have bought them. That purse would have been one of them. This is a little uh, sequin bucket bag. It's just like a, like literally, sorry, cat, a little bucket that you just tie shut. So I think that one's really cute. Um... I bought this and never wore it. Look, it still has the tags on it. This is when cell phones first came out, and they were like all, they first made them small and not like, and actually kind of portable for real. They started making these little cell phone purses. So, and apparently now it's a cat toy. $12 cat toy. There you go. Have at it. For right now. Um, next bag. This is my... Uh, bag I carry when I go to Disney World or an amusement park it's all screwed up okay well the handles all screwed up right now but it's just a Ralph Lauren polo bag it is made out of like a like a sort of a raincoat material so that it, and it's, so it's waterproof so it's good to go on like water rides and stuff and it's got like pockets. I can't go anywhere without a purse. I'm not one of those people on oh, this the pocket in front too for the tickets and stuff. I'm not one of those people that can like leave their purse in the car when they go somewhere. I, can, I just can't. I have to have medicine with me. Um, I have to have an inhaler with me. Uh, you know, pay medicine inhaler. I have, to, I mean, I have to have stuff. So I have to carry something. Um, next bag is this one here it's got like uh it's navy blue straps but they're like encased in like silver type stuff and then it is blue uh silk uh leopard print i actually have a shirt to match this that is like the leopard shirt this is diane gilman i bought this off the home shopping network years and years ago i gave my sister the shirt um and uh, I never ended up giving her the purse. Um, I don't think it was intentionally. I just think that it was just never together. Um, okay, I did have it here. This is the fake Gucci. You can look at You can tell. It's just like embossed on there. I think it's really funny. Um, but I'll tell you what. I mean, I used it for a few months. And for being a really... I mean, they said it was really a cheapy thing. And for being a real cheapy thing, it held up really well. And it's not a bad looking bag. It's not a Gucci, but it's not a bad looking bag. Okay, here's another one of these little Asian bags. This one's got elephants on it. Um, I'm just about done. Um, this one here is... Uh, just another one, just a little woven, you know, spring or summer type bag. Um, it's a little sack. So, I mean, no big deal, just stripes. <laughs> okay, and then, oh, let me do this one. This is, I don't know. I just got this down the street, like garage sale for a quarter. It's, it's Rodeo Drive. So, I haven't done anything with it yet. But it came with that other vintage purse, so I figured I'd do... I really like that one, so I got both of them. This is a tote bag. This one is a Dolly Mama. 
uh, this is this here this thing is Dolly Mama I love Dolly Mamas I, I have them in my house I think they're funny as hell they're all like these little women and men and they hold up signs saying what they think this one here is the shoe shopper tote <laughs> is that not the cutest thing and it is really it's polka dot on the outside the inside is polka dotted too um, I used to have another one that was green and had marabou feathers all around the top and that one said, I don't know, something about like how I, I don't it's a, a domestic goddess type of a thing. Uh, but uh, the cat ate it. Not, this was before uh, Odie and before, uh, actually before Squeaks. Claudia and Dookie, um, the other two cats, the ones that have died. They, they ate my purse. So, okay, lastly is my Gucci bag. Uh, my dad, I found this at an estate sale in Chicago uh, when I was like 17 or 18. Um, and I really wanted it. And my parents were buying a lot from the sale. Um, they went every week, uh, when my dad was alive, they would go house to house sales and estate sales every week, uh, and, and, you know, and sometimes this particular sale, they were buying a lot. I think they bought a whole set of sterling at this sale, and so my dad got them to throw in the Gucci bag for $14, which was like just a fraction of what they were charging. So, but he was buying so much other stuff, you know, they, they wanted to keep him happy as a customer. So I was really happy about that. It's really cool. It opens up here and then it's got, look at it, it's like suede on the inside. It's like insane. And then here, and then it's got the strap here. Now here's the problem I have with it. The zipper pull is broken and then... It has come loose here and here. That's it. This bag was vintage when I got it, and I got it 20 years ago. Um, God, I got it over 20 years ago. So that is all that has gone wrong with this bag since it was made. Now, that is some quality product right there. I mean, holy crap. However, I can't find anyone to fix it because they're saying it would cost more than, than it's worth. I keep telling them, I keep telling them it's a Gucci, it's worth, you know, a lot. It's, you know, they're like, oh, it'll be like $80 for like to fix the zipper and another whatever. I, I'm willing to pay it. I just can't find anyone who will guarantee the work. So I've just, I'm holding on to it until I can find somebody to fix my Gucci bag because I love it. It's nice. So, um, that would be it. That is all my handbags that were stored in the one spot. <laughs> I probably have a few more that are in other places, but yeah, yeah, I'm not that organized. So, um, hope you liked them. Bye.